نحن صغير مستدام وهذا بحتم علينا انه نرجع ونطلع على السياسات الاقتصادية اللي بنتهجها بتنتهجها الاردن ولازم نطلع من عمق الزجاجة مشان هيك مضمون اجتماعنا اليوم زي ما ذكر انه عرض للدراسة اللي اجراها مستشارون مشروع الاصلاح المالي بعنوان توجهات الاقتصاد الكلي في الاردن بخلال الفترة من 2000 ل 2011 هدفها تسليط الضوء على نتائج السياسات الاقتصادية اللي تم انتهاجها بهاي الفترة وبالتالي انه بساعد متخذي القرار انه يتم في مراجعة على هاي السياسات وتصحيح ما امكن فيها نشكركم على مبادرتكم ومشاركتكم اليوم وان شاء الله بتكون هذه البداية ممتازة لسلسلة من المشاركات مع منتدى تطوير سياسات شكرا لكم شكرا دكتورة روبا Now I leave the floor to Mr. Yanash. As I mentioned, he uh, has a uh, long uh, experience, uh, 30 years of experience, published 12 books, conducted many studies, working in many countries, uh, Poland, Ukraine, uh, Tunisia, Jordan, United Arab Emirates, Zambia, India, Sri Lanka, Mongolia, and several other uh, markets and countries. So the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I would like to start from apologizing. I am a little bit stressed because to talk to such an esteemed venue is, uh, is not an easy thing, but uh, I will do my best to overcome my stress and to be uh, uh, as informative as I can. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you, um, thank all the um, organizations and institutions that uh, made possible uh, this analysis and today's uh, presentation. Uh, I would like to thank USAID for they are support. I would like to thank the uh, Economic and Social Council and especially the support that we are getting uh, from Dr. Anan. I would like to thank uh, the uh, Talal Abu Ghazali University, thanks to which we are, we are here. And I must say I'm very honored to talk to you. And, uh, uh, to have this uh, opportunity to present the results of uh, uh, our study, which uh, the main objective of the study is to organize uh, um, a lot of uh, evidence, and this evidence is supposed to be used for different kinds of econometric and other modeling uh, uh, efforts in order to uh, identify uh, main problems in order to provide uh, advice uh, concerning uh, uh, policy reform in order to uh, run different kind of impact scenario to figure out what kind of alternative policy uh, would, what kinds of effect they would produce. So um, the uh, what uh, I would like to present today is um, a bunch of uh, quantitative data that are supposed to illustrate the most recent history of Jordan, roughly one decade from 2000 to 2011. And uh, uh, while looking at it, we want to improve our understanding how things are interrelated, to formulate certain um, hypotheses that could be tested later on by models. Uh, I would like to emphasize that uh, uh, we are getting the kind support for USAID, but what I'm going to present is uh, uh, exclusively the views of uh, uh, of uh, uh, Dr. Halid uh, 
Al Mood and myself, and we are only responsible for it. USAID or, or the project or anybody else is not responsible for what we are going to do. I like that. <laughs> to say. Next, please. Uh, well, the content of the presentation would be we start from a few introductory comments and then we go into an overview of selected trends. Our study bug is much larger, so it was a difficult selection that uh, had to be made in order to, uh, to provide a concise uh, uh, presentation here. <laughs> we could go on. Yeah. Uh, so I think uh, I have to emphasize that this is a macroeconomic study, which means it is not intended to come up with ready to use um, recommendations. And basically, each policy recommendation, in order to be responsible and useful, would require much more in depth analysis at the sectoral level, at the macro, at the micro level. Whereas, uh, we basically would like to figure out the uh, to formulate certain diagnosis and based on this diagnosis to be able to uh, suggest direction of, uh, uh, of further research. Next, please. So this is first of our, um, uh, of our slides, uh, which uh, we start from saying that the last decade for Jordan, it was a very good decade. And uh, what we've done, we collected data on economic growth, on GDP, for uh, the number, basically for all main trading partners of Jordan, the, which are either have a very large share in exports or imports and uh, foreign direct investment. And as you could see, well, there are two countries, China and India, that did better. But outside of that, there is a, a bunch of countries, and Jordan is at the top of it. So Jordan was doing really well. Next, please. Uh, here you could see that uh, if we look at the groups of countries, uh, Jordan is not far away from uh, the aggregated Asian partners and uh, ahead of uh, its main Arab uh, uh, trading partners and solidly ahead of the USA and Europe. Next. And this is not the end of, of the good news. The good news is that our data show that the number of educated people with high education is growing much faster than population, much faster than the number of people employed. Next, please. Uh, that's private, which means we, the human capital is being built uh, every year. And Jordan here 